G'day guys, Elfie here. Um, this map has been a long time coming. Uh, I've been holding off and holding off and holding off to show you this. This is the new transcription translation map. Over there is the actual cell. So off in the distance there is the actual cell. But down in here is where the transcription and translation starts. So students will spawn in here and this is one of my trial custom uh, animated textures uh, from way back. I forgot to remove that from the texture pack but I'll leave it there because I think it's cool the kids might like it. Um, so I've got nine students in my VCE biology class this year and we're going to work in pairs so I'll be the pair to the fifth group if, if the nine people are actually there in the morning. So each group will go into one of these doors and they'll be split. One person will go to the nucleus and one person will go to the ribosome. Because these students are senior, I figure I can trust them to actually do the right thing. Um, so what that means is if we head into the nucleus, actually no, I want to show you the other one. So I'll show you what they look like from outside. Ooh, wrong button. So these are the 10, I've got 10 groups here, or 10 different versions. So one, two, three, four, five are all the normal um, sequence, one for each group, and these five below us now, one, two, three, four, five are all the mutations. So each each group will get uh, two goes at this. One each student will get to be in the nucleus for one of these and in the ribosome for the second. So to give you an idea of what happens, and part of the reason I've been holding off on this is I couldn't show you these guys here. Um, I'll talk about them in a minute. But uh, this is the DNA sequence. It loops around and around and around. This DNA sequence is not the same as the other ones. I was using this as a test run. Um, and there's a whole heap of tricky redstone and stuff. But basically, the students will be teleported into here. And it's their job to actually generate this RNA s sequence that's happening here. So. The DNA is moving this way. DNA gets unwound and splits into the two. That probably should be seen there. Um, hmm, wonder how much of that should be seen. Anyway, so you've got the top strand and the bottom strand here. And we, RNA polymerase, put the uh, uh, appropriate base there. In this case, the complementary base to A in RNA is U. So we put U in. And system go off, the DNA sequence moves along and we get a G, so now I need to put a C in there, after that will be an A, and you can see this is getting pushed through out there, next is a G, so this student here will be in creative mode, that noise is probably very frustrating for you, students here will be in creative mode but the only place they can actually put anything is directly on top of this because student building will be disabled on the world so they'll only be able to put um, right on top of here so they won't be able to, or they'll be able to destroy that guy there if they really feel like it but hopefully they won't actually do that and they'll stick to the plan so there's a few information signs around here telling people what's going on but basically what happens is that RNA gets sent out of the nucleus and into the ribosome here now here we actually start reading it in codons, so in groups of three, so I make sure that they all get put in groups of three, and this is where the person who is in the ribosome begins, they start here. And this is their reading frame, so for example this one here says GGU. So they would look up in their codon table which one of these amino acids here corresponds to GGU, let's say it's threonine, I actually don't know what it is at the moment, um, and then they place that here. And again in here, the only place they can place anything is on this block here. So we place a block there, and the whole sequence moves up and through. So there are a whole heap of block detectors which are based off the Computercraft Edu little turtle guys that you saw earlier, those green things. Um, and there, as, as the person over in the nucleus puts more RNA out, this will actually shift along to be the next sequence and these students will just stay here and do this. So what that means is that currently for the normal, is this side the normal? Normal group 5, yep. So for this side here, 
this actually loops around twice complete um, or is it three times? No, twice complete before it actually comes across a stop codon um, and possibly further I actually haven't gone any further I'm going to probably limit the students to a certain amount of time anyway and I actually don't know how long it'll take for this DNA to do two complete loops with students doing it but this just loops around and around and around um, and to prevent it from looping the same each time there's a, an odd like DNA is reading groups of three so to prevent that same group of three getting sent through to the uh, ribosome all the time I've got an extra base in so that it, it sort of frame shifts at each time it goes around and like I said I've got the first sequence goes around without any stops and then the second it goes around again without any stops um, and then of course we have the mutation sequences over here so over here for example group one here has a single uh, deletion of a whole codon so there are three bases missing so these turtles are actually shifted three bases across so there are three whole bases missing here and that'll just be a, a single amino acid change um, which they may or may not pick up on so it'll be interesting to see so this has got an AGT to AGA which is a silent mutation so that's right here that actually will not cause a change in the amino acid sequence at all um, substitution, they'll get a one amino acid change in here so I think we went GGT here instead of GAT so there's, an, there's a G in there instead of an A and then this group here um, we get a cat going to a car, sorry a car where's car, cat going to, I've got that the wrong way around Oh no, it was car. If we go back to this one over here, that sequence there is car, C double A. In this one, it's C A T, and that is going to prevent. Uh, that's going to put a premature stop in, which is a missent uh, mutation. And then this group here um, is going to have a frame shift. So I've actually shifted these turtles one back and put a new one of these in, which is going to cause um, quite a few changes all the way along the sequence so that'll be a, a big change in sequence so at the end of the lesson or at the end of the the building time what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the students while well, they're already in creative I'm going to knock off the top of all of these buildings with um, world edit and we're going to go through as a class and talk about the differences between what's supposed to be the normal on this side and the the mutated one on this side or vice versa whichever way it goes I can't remember I've got myself all turned around but yeah we'll, we'll sit there and I'll pull the top off two of them and we'll say well here's the normal here's the mutation what what's the difference what happened um, so that's what's happening tomorrow in my class um, and sorry it's been so long coming it was just these little guys here that I couldn't I wasn't actually allowed to show you but now I'm allowed to show you so expect some videos coming out on the uh, how powerful those little guys are for map making and what we need to do or what I want to do with them anyway. Um, thanks for watching. I would expect there to be some classroom footage of this going up soonish when I get a chance to edit. So keep your eye on my YouTube channel for more if you want. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Catch you later, guys.